The lawsuit argues it's not possible to lawfully transport toxic materials in a controlled manner from an uncontrolled site like what we see in East Palestine, Ohio. It also aims to prevent any further dumping here in Michigan. Shortly after the public outcry, Norfolk Southern announced that they would pause the shipments, but they stopped short of guaranteeing that they would not resume. Dearborn attorney Michael Jaffer says that's what prompted his client, a Canton resident, to file a lawsuit against Norfolk Southern. It's unfair and unreasonable to expect and to trust Norfolk Southern in their handling of these materials. That's because Jaffer says, quite frankly, what happened in East Palestine, Ohio, is an environmental disaster. He says the state of Michigan should not be burdened with disposing of the dangerous chemicals that contaminated the water and ground there. In the statements that we read, even the injection well site for public services didn't even know the stuff was being shipped. They said in a statement they were shocked, they were caught off guards. What's worse, Jaffer says, the proper authorities were never notified about the dumping of toxic chemicals at this deep well injection site here in Michigan. Nobody was told or given a heads up about it. We were all shocked. And to add insult to injury, Jaffer says this Republic Service deep well injection site has a troubled past handling toxic chemicals. They have a checkered past. They're under, they're under an investigation right now by the, by the authorities. But even, even if it is the best facility possible, right? let's just assume they are and they're not. Um, why transport the materials three and a half hours away from the actual site? Moving forward, the lawsuit has one goal. Jaffer says that goal has nothing to do with money rather keeping Michigan residents safe. We made it very clear and we were very specific when we filed this lawsuit, it was merely for an injunction to stop the materials from being transported to Michigan. Now we did reach out to Norfolk Southern for their response. However, they don't comment on any pending litigation. We'll be sure to follow this story as it develops. In Romulus, I'm Gino Vici, CBS News, Detroit.